Hello and welcome to another update video about gold. Gold did come back into our support area here around the 26th of May, then started to rally. And on the 31st of May here, close to the top, to that local high, I gave you another support area for a pullback, which was already reached on the 1st of June and the price reacted to it and rallied quite strongly. And in the last video, we saw that. And I said, look, if, if it really bottomed here in a wave two, it would be quite a shallow wave two, but okay, that would be quite bullish. Still though, it seems it was an overshooting B wave and in the end does a bit of a deeper wave two. And this is now going to be important um, because we're now in the support range for a one, two setup after the larger degree possibly bottomed. Now you need to understand one thing. I'm not definitely confirming here that a low has been made in this wave two. We still keep and kept options open also in the last video. I said to you that we need to be very careful here at the moment and that it really will only be that five wave move of the larger degree here, the entire five wave move up and a subsequent three wave pullback that will give us really clarity as to whether gold has bottomed here in this wave two on the 26th of May around 1940 or 1935. Still though, the move of that low has broken the descending trend line. We broke above the previous wave four high and it certainly is a possibility that we bottomed. I cannot rule out that this is still the wave four and we get one more low in a wave five. What will tell us more about that is the next rally because let's assume this indeed here was a smaller wave one on the 31st of May. We came down in an A wave in a three wave move. We rallied in a B wave. We're now coming down in a C wave. Then the next rally will tell us more about the truth. So if the next rally takes us above that high at basically $2,000. So we reach $2,000, very strong psychological resistance. If we get a break above that level, it would indicate we are in the third wave. However, if we really get one more low here, then the next move up should be just a corrective pullback and should remain below $2,000. I currently can, cannot see any signs that we have bottomed here locally, but local micro support is 1964. We're currently holding that 1958 and 1948. We can also use the Fibonacci extensions. And by the way, below 1948, I think it is not fully confirmed, but it's going to get very likely that we will make one more lower low. However, that would not be bearish. It would still be part of the larger bullish scenario it would just mean that this wave two circle wave two is reset so let's just take a look at the fibonacci extensions and by the way if gold is going to make another low it's probably going to make it now okay um, if it doesn't break through the support area then we're probably rallying in a third wave and have bottomed so it's a very very decisive situation here very very important now looking at the fibonacci extensions we have now reached a 1.618 extension. That is a very, very common target for a C wave. If this was an A, B, C structure, it is basically now reached a 1.618. Now, of course, it can extend a little longer. Sometimes in these flat patterns, even the 2.618 extension is reached, which would be at 1942. But the thing is, below 1948, yeah, the 78.6 FIB level, it will already get very unlikely that we still get this third wave rally. So it all is about holding this support area, which goes down to 1948 and how the next rally is going to look like. If it's corrective, it will tell us a lot about, okay, another low is coming. If it's impulsive and breaks above $2,000, then we can push much higher and probably see in the low and then can head into the heart of a third wave rally, which would be very, very bullish. So that's my update about gold. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.